All right, so our plate's mounted. Sensors are, or sensors are mounted, modules are mounted, got the rotor cover off. We're actually gonna set up the ignition timing now. And I'm just gonna turn on the key, the power, and you're gonna see our LEDs kicked on. So therefore we have power to both LEDs. So if the LEDs are on, it's the equivalent of the points being closed. As soon as the LED turns off, it's the equivalent of the points opening and the spark plug firing. So we're gonna be watching them very closely to set the timing because these are now our timing marks built into the system. But when I'm not messing with it, as I'm setting it, I'm gonna go ahead and just turn them off because it is charging up the coils and I don't wanna leave the coils uh, overcharged. Uh, so first part of this, I need to set the sensor distance to the, the cam. And uh, so the, the first one's gonna be pretty easy. The second one's gonna take us uh, some fiddling. Before I set the distance, I'm gonna mark the index mark. Remember we talked about the, the high spot in the cam being a punch or a line? It's kind of tough to see here, so I'm gonna use the silver marker and just put a dot right there so you guys can see that a little bit better off the camera. Great. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate the engine like I'm setting the timing, I'm gonna rotate it until well, I get that center mark lined up with the center of this uh, sensor here. 14 mil on the crankshaft, just like you're setting the ignition timing on the points. That's it, about right there. Perfect. This is a 10 thousandths feeler gauge. This is the proper distance to set the sensor to the cam. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the, the gauge in there. All right, I'm gonna use my little Allen wrench. I came with my kit, like that. I'm gonna push on it, just gently, so it's actually kind of pinched between the uh, uh, the cam and the, uh, the sensor there. In fact, I'm gonna move it just a hair more. But it's, you know, it's relatively the highest spot on the cam. Great, go ahead and take my sensor, walk it down. I'm gonna snug it a little bit, I don't want to go crazy tight because, you know, this is plastic and you can break it. So just snug though, it's not going to move. Sensor position one is now set. The second one, again, takes a little bit more work to do. But the first thing I'm going to do is rotate the engine to the index mark. It's about lined up with the center of the sensor there. Perfect. Remember on the bench I showed you how this sensor has a little bit of back and forth wiggle on it like that? So we have to set the distance from this to the cam and also um, put, put a feeler gauge here to set the distance we want to offset the sensor. This is where it gets a little bit tricky, but you know, once it's set, it's set. So you know, remember that's the, the beauty of electronic condition is once it's set, it's set. I'm gonna loosen that one up a hair. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use like a 14 to start with. I'm gonna put my 14 thousandths feeler gauge between the plate and the sensor, like that. I'm gonna take my 10 thou, put it like that, making it basically an intersection there. And the point of the 14 is, if I have to move the sensor over, I can. So I'm gonna hold that right there, kind of keeping pressure pointing up, like at that corner. And we're gonna snug it down. I'm not gonna worry about the timing on this one yet. Oops. Just snug that down like that, perfect. So now this particular sensor is 10 thousandths from the, the cam and it's 14 thousandths over from the wall on this. To set the timing on this one, we're gonna have to either bump it you know, left or right. And so you know, we start off with a 14, we might have to go up to like a, you know, an 18 or a 20 just to find out the spot where it's in time. So we'll get to it in a second. Let's set the timing on the, the first sensor though right now. Just like on the um, on the uh, points, I want to be setting the timing on the compression stroke. So I'm gonna put my my finger in the spark plug hole and find where I have pressure. Come on, I can tell it's not even close yet. This should be about here. Hear it? Hear. It. All you guys know, we're messing with these bikes that as we get close to that LF mark, the whole crank wants to kind of cam over. So 
I like to do it like this. Well, you can bring it back a hair. Yeah, it's kind of a sweet spot. Let's put that there. Right there. Yeah, it's a little advanced. Yeah. Sorry. Back that up a hair. See how it wants to cam over? And that's just the slop in the wrench. Ready? See how it goes like that? All right, we're gonna use something a little bit tighter. Yes, an adjustable wrench. And the reason I'm using this is because I can get a better grip on the on the actual sensor or on the, the rotor here. Hold that in place. You can find a spot where you can hold that. All right, that's pretty close to where we need it to be. I'm gonna turn my key on. See that both lights are on. So we're gonna really focus on the, on the blue light right now. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and loosen up my plate here. And we're gonna find the spot where the light just turns off. I think this plate is sitting a little tight in here. So I might have to tap on it just a bit. You should be able to actually rotate the plate, but this one's a little hair tight. I'm gonna turn the engine over. I'm gonna find the spot where that my light just kicks on for that sensor. All right, it's on. Let's see if we can find the spot where it just wants to kick off. And that'll tell us which way you are. Our timing needs to go. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna make sure I'm getting tight in there. I'm just gonna watch the I'm watching the blue light. I'm not even watching the rotor right now. I wanna find the spot where it just kicks off. Right there. Okay. So if we look down here, we're a bit um, um, bit retarded because it's firing right there when the LT mark lines up instead of the LF mark. So what we need to do is we need to take loosen up the, uh, the plate here and we're going to rotate the plate clockwise in order to advance the timing back to the LF mark. So um, I'll loosen that up, I'll move the plate a little bit clockwise and we'll see where we are with that. Turn my power off, I wanna do that. Turn my key back on, my plate's moved, and I'm gonna rotate the motor. I can actually bring it back just a hair. I'm gonna kinda creep up on it and see where, see where the light turns off. Right there. So if I look down here, I'm still a little bit better, but I'm still, uh, still uh, retarded by a little bit. So you know, I'll loosen the plate up, I'll move a hair more this way, and we'll try it again. back on back my motor up a hair blue lights on I'm watching to see when that blue light just kicks off right there all right now it's a little a little advanced so we went just a bit too far um, I've been kind of moving the motor back and forth too I'm gonna rotate the whole motor again 
an, an entire revolution. Let me take that off of there. Let's see, because sometimes it's just a little bit of slack in the cam chain that throws it off. So. It's on. Yada. All right, here we are again. Keep on it nice and slow. Right there. So, oh, we're still a little bit, still a little bit retarded, actually. So you can see how if you move the engine back and forth, you get a little bit of slop in the cam. All right, I'm gonna turn that off. We'll keep moving it just a hair. Starting to creep up on it just again. I'm actually watching the blue light. I'm not even looking at the, the rotor. Just turned off there. Just a little bit advanced of my, my LF mark. It's not bad though. So we're just a little bit advanced. I'm gonna rotate the motor one more time. Double check it. But actually I might leave it there. I'm not having it a hair advanced. And the reason I'm using the the the, the, uh, the adjustable wrench is because I can really get a good bite on the bolt there and take the slop out of it. If I use a regular open end, it has some play. And it's not because I'm trying to be lazy about which wrench I'm using it, so I can actually really Keep the slop out of the system. All right, should be creeping up on it pretty soon. If I can grab it right there. And I'm watching the blue, watching the blue. Off. Actually, that's good on the money. Now, so you can see that there, there is slop in the system, whether it's the advanced mechanism, cam chain, etc. And we haven't done a, a cam chain adjustment or anything else or valve adjustment on this motor, I highly suggest doing one uh, prior to putting this in. So I'm gonna leave that right there. And we're gonna go ahead and move on to uh, the other sensor right now. So our, our next test is to see what happens on uh, the right side sensor. See how far off it is. Same deal, I'm gonna approach the F mark, which is gonna be the fire mark for that sensor. And so we're 180 out from where we were. I'm watching the green light now. Let's see when it kicks off. Right there. And hey, we ain't that far off from, from where we want to be. That's the, uh, we're a little bit retarded right now. So we need to go ahead and advance um, the sensor, which means the sensor needs to go uh, to, the, to the left, which would be clockwise. So we'll go ahead and reset the sensor position to the left. We had put a 14 thou here before. Let's try a uh, let's try a ten thou there. Um, so I'm gonna in this situation I'm gonna go ahead and rotate the engine back to the the mark lining up center here. Turn off the power and we'll move that sensor over just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna go keep my ten here. That's where I want it, just like that. And actually I'm gonna go ten on the side here as well. We'll see how that changes the, uh, um, the timing. 
come in, 10 thou. Again, I'm putting pressure on the back of the sensor, on the side of the sensor, and let's go ahead and snug it down. All right. Turn key on, turn the motor over. Again, we almost want to kind of approach it as if it was uh, the engine was running, so don't like to back it up unless I have to. As you can see, it'll get slop in the system. All right, here's where we are. And I'm, again, I'm watching the light. I'm not watching, nope. Well, that, it went off pretty quick there. So that was a very small change and it. It made a big difference already. I'm gonna to take the motor one more time. Over just to make sure we're not got extra slack in the system. The LF mark, if the F mark, and yeah. So now we're firing off here. So it didn't take very much motion. Um, we bumped it over like four thousandths of an inch, and we got over here. So let's bring it in. Uh, I'm gonna try a thirteen because we didn't have to move it that much before. Bring the sensor back over and see if we can get it lined up again. Turn my power off. Line up my dot, and we'll move the sensor. Same deal though. So now that. I'm gonna go 10 there. I'm gonna go with a 12 this time. I'll split the difference to see where it gets us. There it is. Pinched. Pinched. Just like that. Power on, rotate the motor, let's see where we are. So really, I know this this is kind of the most tedious part about this, I get it, um, but there was not really a great way to get the sensor set. But once it's set, it ain't going anywhere, so. Just remember that, okay, we're almost there. Watching my green light. Off, and now we're still Still a hair retarded. I'm gonna turn the motor one more time. See, it doesn't take much to really change the position of the sensor. I'll fire, and let's creep on it, and my light is off right there. Same spot. This is really close. The motor would actually run right here, but. We'll go ahead and move the sensor a hair more and uh, we'll get it done on the money. Okay, so I got this guy set finally. Um, took some fiddling with, but we got it set and we're gonna show you how the timing is done on the money. I'm about to reline up the LF mark. We're gonna watch the blue light kick off exactly when the mark lines up. And then the same thing for the green. So let's, let's just get in here and do it. All right, nice and slow. Watching the light, see that? Boom, right when the light, the mark went on. All right, same thing with the green. We're gonna be 180 out. Nice and slow, watch the light. Boom. Top by hair, we're close. We're gonna be close enough to make this thing run. So that's it. Timing is, is set. And uh, go ahead and start buttoning all the stuff back up. And we'll fire up the bike.